What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. Today's video I'm gonna go over the supposedly ideal lineup for the holiday event. I'm also gonna talk about some alternative characters to use, what are the things to look out for when selecting your team, and uh, we're gonna do a run and we're gonna talk about one other thing. If you're new to the channel, Please subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Don't forget to ninja kick that like button. Leave a comment. Really help the channel out if you do all that. And with that, let's go get into it. Okay, here we are on the holiday event page. I saved one battle so we could go through this. Um, in the video today. Now, I'm actually in second place today with 657,000 points. Um, I got this, these points operating the same team that I was using on this, uh, on both my phone and on my Bluestacks on Android. I mean, on my, on my brother's iPhone. So one thing we found out is that using an iPhone gives you better scores than using an Android. So if you don't have access to an iPhone, maybe you have a friend who does that you can uh, act, uh, recover your account on that device because that seems to be doing better. Um, so let's go take a look at the lineup that I'm using um, and the lineup that is being reported. Now what you'll notice is I haven't touched this lineup this is the exact lineup that has been getting a lot of people really, really high scores. Um, if anybody is using anything different, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but we have uh, Tilla, we have Donatello, we have Mona Lisa, April, and Techno Dawn. Now, the way that we get all these points is by getting everybody locked on one side of the battlefield. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, let you guys watch. I am not even going to score 600,000 points on this run. It's very unlikely because we are on an Android device. I'm running on Bluestacks, even though I am on my MacBook Pro, um, because Bluestacks is an Android emulator. Um, it just, for some reason, doesn't behave the same way. Now, we do feel that Technodon's summons, summoning his turrets, help to have the summoning happen on the wall, where they stay happening on the wall. Um, of course, the longer you can keep the enemies summoning on one wall without having to switch sides, as you see, we're about to switch over to the other side of the board. Um, the the longer you can do that, uh, and of course, we, we it's RNG, um, the higher score you're going to get. Um, the reason why we're using April, she gives out a huge will bonus to one of your allies. And when your heroes use their special, you notice the clock stops. Well, that helps you get a little bit of extra damage in. And maximize your point potential. Another thing we noticed, if I go ahead and click on Rocksteady here, he has 3,000 hit points, so he's going to net me 3,000 points. Where if I click on Zach, he's got 1.75 thousand hit points, so he's worth less points. So any of the heroes that have more hit points are also going to net you more points. That is also, once again, reliant on RNG. So it's very, very random the amount of score that you can kind of end up with um, based on what we've experienced and what we've seen. Um, before, so I've, for the past two days, I've, I've gone over 600,000 with this exact same squad. Using my brother's iPhone, I have yet to get over 600,000 points on my Android or Bluestacks. Now this run is actually looking pretty good. If we get locked on this wall right here for the rest of the match, we do have the potential to break 600,000 points. Uh, will we break our score that we have now? No. Um, but chances are around 15 seconds, 20, 15 seconds, the uh, spawning will stop happening on the left. It'll switch over to the right and uh, we will lose any amazing point potential that we have. But you never know, good old RNG. We do know that people have scored, see it already happened. Uh, people have scored over 600,000 on Android devices, but it's very, very rare. There are a few people who have scored over 700,000. Um, if any of you are watching, what did you do? Share, we're deep enough into this event that I don't think anybody can catch up to you. 
um, if you're able to do that consistently. Um, from what others have told me though, it's a lot of luck. Um, so this run is almost over. Um, Attila, the reason why we use him is that he gives haste and will to everybody. Um, Technodon, like I said, his summons kind of seem to be the, the reason why they get stuck on the wall. Now we've tried this with Rat King, it doesn't seem to work as well. Maybe because Technodon's summons are ranged units as opposed to the rats being melee. Uh, so the rats getting up close may cause the move from one side of the, the rooftop to the other. Uh, Donatello is a decent AoE. Um, I, I forgot if his kit gives any sort of will or not or haste or anything like that. Um, Mona Lisa has splash on her basic. She also gives um, will, I believe, um, and haste. She actually gives both will and haste, which is why we like Mona Lisa. Um, but of course, there are some other heroes that could you could use if you don't have all these. And, you know, you, as you can see here, I'm, I didn't even break, unless sometimes you get a little extra points here at the end in that last second, that doesn't show. But the exact same lineup, I, did, I couldn't even break 500,000. On the iPhone, consistently over 500, um, but, you know, only getting over 600 at one time. So... A lot of RNG happening there. Um, but some of the other heroes, let's go to the uh, the box, that I feel are really, really useful in uh, this event if you don't have access to all those. Leonardo does give haste to um, everybody, strength and haste with this strike together. So that's decent. Um, so he, he's one that you can use if you don't have Attila. He's a good uh, uh, replacement for Attila. I think some people like some of what Dreg does. I think he gains will on his... Special, but I don't think he gives will or haste out to anybody else. It's just for himself and then his um, So he's okay um, We have so the problem with Renette because she does give a huge amount of haste and will is that it has to Be for every enemy next to the targeted ally so often that there aren't enemies next to the target ally They don't get any bonus uh, Michelangelo actually has a decent um, skill here. When uh, ever an ally, ally attacks, they gain 10 haste for 36 if their target is stunned. Well, the targets don't stay alive long enough for this to really trigger. So it's a really cool um, mechanic, but it doesn't seem to be to be playing out here. Tempestra, I really like Tempestra. Actually, my best score on my Android was using Tempestra um, because she has a skill not only does she do basics she splashes on her basic um, I think that's it it's just that she splashes splashes on her basic um, but what she does is she combos really well because it's negative 70 alertness with Lotus uh, Lotus Blossom where's Lotus Lotus Blossom actually gives haste and will to per enemy under zero alertness so that can be nice um, she's not the most ideal though either, but I have heard some people doing getting some success with Lotus uh, Tempestra Razar also gives out some He gets his own haste, but he also gives out some haste. I think in one of these Skills there we go. He gives 40 haste to three um, Allies for 10 seconds, so that's really nice will is of course better than haste um, because I did run uh, and tracks for the heck of it because whenever an enemy is knocked out he gains 40 haste for himself um, it's not enough to make a difference but it was a fun mechanic check out how high my haste got on Antrax it's insane um, I think that's it of the ones that I can recommend that I think are good substitutes for the ones that we have. I know some people have gotten some success with Trag, putting Trag in there, but Core is Attila, Mona Lisa, Technodon, and then, um, you know, if you, you can run April, Donatello, some people are running Irma, um, like I said, Trag, uh, Tempestra, Razar. Um, there's a lot of different options there, so good luck everybody. I hope that this video helps you guys out and tries to help you figure things out. If you can, play on an uh, iPhone device, not an Android, because scores are definitely higher.
Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Don't forget to ninja kick the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. We just want to game smarter here. Thanks for being part of this community. We'll see you in the next video.